Have you ever needed a new network deployment and been delayed due to infrastructure provisioning or dependencies on other departments? Is your impression that creating a new network is difficult and takes a team to get it all done? Let's look at how Flow Virtual Networking can help you overcome these challenges and streamline your network deployments using a VPC. Welcome to the second video in the Flow Virtual Networking video series. Hi, I'm Eric Walters, a technical marketing engineer here at Nutanix. In this video, I'll go into some detail about the different types of networks we use within a VPC and show just how quick and easy it is to create them. Let's jump in and get started. Let's start with a quick overview of the different types of subnets we use with our VPCs. The first is the overlay subnet. You can have one or more overlay subnets in a VPC. Overlay subnets are private and can only be attached to one VPC, not shared amongst multiple VPCs. Now, external subnets are just that, subnets outside of the VPC. An external subnet provides connectivity into and out of a VPC and can be used by multiple VPCs simultaneously. Let's look at how to configure these subnets that we'll use with our VPC. First, we will create an overlay subnet for our VPC. These subnets typically use private IP address ranges. As was just mentioned, a VPC can have multiple overlay subnets. When that's the case, the subnets within the VPC must be unique. There should be no IP address overlap. To configure an overlay subnet, we go into Prism Central, and at the main menu dropdown, select Subnets from the Network and Security section. To create the VPC subnet, we give the subnet a name. We will specify the type of network, in this case, overlay. Select the VPC to attach the subnet to, then assign our IP network information. You can have multiple VPCs all using the same private IP addresses. This is possible because an overlay network is private to the VPC and attached by the assigned name, not its IP network assignment. And to reiterate, an overlay network can only be attached to a single VPC. Any communication destined for hosts outside of a VPC will exit through an external network. That brings us to the next type of subnet used with a VPC, and that's an external subnet. An external subnet is a VLAN-backed network, also known as an underlay network, providing connectivity from VMs within the VPC to hosts external to the VPC. External subnets must be an actual VLAN and defined on the VLAN-backed infrastructure. An external subnet can be attached to multiple VPCs. These subnets can be deployed with functionality to enable network address translation or NAT to and from the attached VPCs. NAT functionality also provides us the ability to use overlapping IP network address space in separate VPCs without causing a conflict. A VPC can have up to two external networks, one external network that provides NAT functionality and another external network that is set as routed, also known as no NAT. This routed functionality allows the native addresses of the VPC overlay subnets to be known by the external network via this external network connection. To configure an external subnet, we give the subnet a name, specify the type as VLAN, Select the cluster the VLAN resides on and input the VLAN ID used by the underlying networking infrastructure. Next, we will select yes for external connectivity for VPCs, as that is the purpose of this subnet. Then we have the option to select NAT. This enables NAT for the VPCs attached to this subnet that need to communicate with resources outside of their VPC. Finally, we will configure the IP address information for this external VLAN backed network. This is where the NAT addresses for VPCs are allocated from. This pool is also used when requesting floating IP addresses to use for one-to-one -one or static NAT. That's how easy it is to create subnets for our VPCs. In the next video, we'll bring it all together and create a production-ready VPC. Thanks for watching.